the end, I know all of you will be waiting for a small story from me. Because wherever I go, if I end my talk with a, without a story, that will be more highly disappointing for you. The story goes on like this. There were two farmers. One was a highly educated farmer like you. And the other farmer was an ordinary man who had his own marketers, cows, bulls and everything. And this farmer was uh, a very, uh, I mean, ultra-modern, up-to-date person. He had his tractors, he had his uh, uh, other equipment. So both of them were having their own field and crops were coming, both of them were happy. But what happened? Both of them got a male child. So, these people were interested, okay, I got a son today, so I should plant a tree. The other man also planted a tree. Both of them planted, so I should plant a tree. The other man also planted a tree. Both of them planted each one mango tree in front of their house. So the mango plant was growing day by day, day by day, day by day. And this uh, modern um, farmer, he was used to uh, supervise the plant every day. He used to give manure, he used to give urea, sunlight, this and that. Even if a small pest is found on that, he will come and spray on that. So, uh, twice a day or uh, uh, some manure, he will feed that, he will dry up, he used to give water. And this man, this other farmer, he just planted that one and it was growing. And now and then he used to go here and there, get some cow dung or coffee or this or that or some manure, he used to put there. And whenever he used to go up and down, he used to walk in his hands and legs near the tree, that was going on. And this modern farmer's tree was growing very quickly. Day after day, day after day it was giving, um, I mean, uh, growth was so high. And this was slowly growing. So two years, three years gone, and after the end of the three years, this modern farmer's tree started flowering. Then the farmer was so happy, he went around and said, Hey, my, my tree is, uh, you see, it is now flowering. I'll get mangoes this year. What about you? He said, Okay, don't worry, I will also get, but later. So two years over, three years over, and he was getting mangoes and such huge mangoes. And the tree was unable to bear those weight of the mangoes. But still, this man's tree was growing only. Then one day, this man's tree also flowered. And he came and pulled out those flowers and threw it out. This man said, Hey, are you a fool or what? Why did you just pick out those ones? And this man said, No, no, my small tree. I don't want it to flower and you grow so early in age. I want it to grow. I want it to become big. I want it to survive on its own. That's why I don't want. So one or two years sitting like that, third year it started flowering and he was also getting mangoes. And this one was so big and this one was medium size. People used to come and ask and they buy our one or two mangoes. This mango used to be costly and he said, what are they? After one year, this farmer, he said, my cost of my mango is double to that. Though my size is half of it. The people said, why? Then you taste it. You taste and see whichever is good, you buy it. And he cut a big mango and he cut a small mango also. The small mango has its own odor, its own smell, its own taste, original. The other mangoes were so big, but it neither had the mango taste, neither the, the smell of the mango. It was not another mango at all. It was only bulk of chemicals that he had put. People wonder. He is an educated man, he is an educated man. So what he has done to his tree and what he has done to his tree. Then after two, three years what happened? A big cyclone. Big cyclone flew away. And to you know in cyclones you have heavy breeze. Because of that heavy breeze, 
this modern farmer's tree was blown up totally and this farmer's tree was whenever the, there is a blow it used to bend and come back and sustain people were wondering what happened we thought this is so strong because it is giving such a big fruits and it is giving small fruits how can it be so strong and when they looked at the roots the roots of this tree did not go down but the roots of this particular tree were going down and down because this tree was not getting enough water or manure what he is giving so it was searching for more water more manure more strength and it was sending its roots deeper and deeper and deeper and this man even without asking also without whether necessary or not he was pouring it so there was no need for the tree to send its roots so it is to grow but when the roots are not deep anything can be blown out your roots also must be very strong i think you understand what the story is kids we understand your roots must be very strong there are going to be so many storms in your life no doubt i am now 72 I had my life very happily, and your teachers thirty, forty, fifty. They will have the best life for some years, and your life is not going to be so easy. Make your life very easy. Be as a human being. Be happy what you have. And last one thing I want to tell and close it. That is, if there are any farmer children, and if you have any land. Two acres, three acres, or five acres land. Tell your father not to sell that land for their education, because even if you are going to do any kind of job, you are not going to eat any other food other than the food that is grown in your fields. So keep your land safe. Turn back after twenty years or thirty years. Live there. Have a hut, small hut, and live there. Happily, even if you marry, if you have children, if you have money, if you have everything, everything will leave you. You have to live alone in your life. You will be with others. Others will not be with you. Mind this point. You will be with others. Others will not be with you. So that little land will save you for ever and ever. And those who don't have land. Ask your parents instead of spending lots of money on your higher education, ask them to give a piece of land. At the end, you can come and look after that because life comes from the soil. Life comes from the soil, not for from any other thing. So, friends, I wish you all a great success in life. Success means not the what people think. To be happy is the greatest success. So I would like you to be happy once for all. Till today is the last day, and thank you for giving this chance. Bye. See you soon.